Welcome back to AJ's Weekend Web, February 2nd, 2019. Have you ever gotten tired of trying to set up the browser debugger in VS Code? It's always such a pain for me from project to project. Well, fear not, there's a solution for this. Kenneth Ockenberg has created a browser preview for VS Code, which will allow you to edit in line and see your work on the fly. This is powered by the Chrome headless, which is allowed inside of VS Code. A big announcement in the Angular camp, for the first time ever, the biggest Italian Angular conference is taking place in Rome on October 7th. Website says it all, it's one day, 16 talks, 400 plus attendees. Try to be there. I'm super pumped about this and I'm going to try to speak at this conference. Next up is Sapper. The inspiration for Sapper comes from Next.js React framework, however Sapper is built by Svelte, and Svelte is considered one of the fastest frameworks available. Because it's built on Svelte, it's super fast. It's faster than React and Vue. Um, it's faster than Angular, or Ember, or any of those other frameworks, and it boils down very small. So the to-do of Svelte comes in at 3.6K. I would imagine that the sapper side of this for PWAs is gonna be amazingly fast and very small. On the Chrome Blinks channel, they've included the Intersection Observer version 2. This is great timing as Jeff over at Fireship.io has an awesome video on Intersection Observer. Check that out, I'll put it in the description. On top of that, here's a great place for an explanation on what is in the V2 of Intersection Observer. I'm always on the lookout for cool Angular components as well as other web components that I can use in my projects. There's many times that it's helpful to have the tree as well as the table, and this component created by Mark LRV fits just that. Final item in AJ's Weekend Web is that Yarn posted their 2019 roadmap. It looks like, to me, they're moving more towards a developer focus, which is fantastic. The one major change that I noticed, which was interesting, is in their lock file, they will be using a subset of YAML. And the thing that makes me the most happy about Yarn is that it will be rewritten in TypeScript in 2019. If you have a new topic that you'd like me to check out, just hashtag AJ Weekend Web on Twitter.